Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have overclocked GeForce RTX 4090 can outperform RTX 3090 Ti. Of course that RTX 4090 is the laptop GPU. Nvidia has confirmed that GTC 2023 Jensen Wong keynote will be on March 21st. AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D already spotted on Geekbench. Apple Safari 16.4 beta browser will be getting AV1 codec support. AMD D707 Radeon GPU board design has been spotted. And lastly AMD has released their Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.2 source code so firstly we have this reddit user uh, at our u kels posted this and that is the tinkered enough razor blade 184090 basically the razor blade 18 laptop which comes with the rtx 4090 laptop gpu and we'll, we're looking at the graphics score of 22339 which basically surpasses the the 3090 ti desktop gpu which is kind of huge honestly like I mean, it's not really surprising that 4090 laptop can deliver good performance, even though it's not equaling 4090 desktop. But we already know that uh, laptop GPUs do struggle in that case. But still, uh, beating the 3090 Ti, which is the previous generation top of the line. So that's kind of impressive. But uh, yeah, depends on the pricing, though, how impressive that is. Next up, we have NVIDIA just announcing their GTC 2023 keynote and which will be on March 21, 2023 at 8 a.m. PDT or 4 p.m. CET. According to your time zone, you might be able to tune in. So yeah, that's already in the YouTube uh, here. But obviously, you have to wait for March 21. Which is quite far, I have to say. Uh, we have to still wait for a long time. But I wonder what they're going to be launching on GTC. Let's see what happens. Next up, we have something interesting. Geekbench 5 score has been published. And if you look into the specs here, well, this is the uh, AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. A 16 core 32 touch processor here. And well, it, it, the base frequency is 4.2 and the maximum frequency we're looking at is 5.68. This is the first X3D part we're looking at for the 7000 series benchmark and we're getting a single core score of 2157 and multi-core of 21841 but if you look into the single core score here it's basically the similar score of the 7950x which is the non-x model obviously so i wonder if they are not improving the single core performance what will be the beneficial part uh maybe in multi-core they did gain a little bit but in single core it is quite similar, like very little gain compared to the 7950X, the 7950X 3D is looking similar, but we already know that 7950X 3D will be faster. In in terms of gaming, it should be faster. But then again, who knows? We'll, we have to wait and see what the other benchmark looks like. But for now, uh, the Geekbench 5 score looking like it's the same for the single core uh, score. It's, it's the same as the 7950X and non-X part. So... Very interesting. Next up, we have uh, Safari 16.4 beta release notes have been published here. And they have added something interesting and very exciting because AV1 encoders are very much important nowadays, I guess. And they've also included that. So if you look into right here, they have added the WebRTC support for hardware AV1 decoding on supported devices and also the AV1 codec. In general so yeah it supports the AV1 codec and well it's gonna be faster for the browser of course I wonder will Google will add this because they have to you know because AV1 encoding is just too good for now Google 0 and I guess uh, Safari 1 next up we have Haruke's 57119 just shared this information in Twitter we have AMD video card D707 series here and we're looking at almost seven of them which is quite a lot and this is the well confirmation that's the this, this information is coming from the South Korea regulatory office and well this information kind of tells you that there is a D707 series of AMD cards are coming and we already know that D70701 basically or actually D702 is the 7900 XTX the Z704 is the 7900 XT but wonder what D707 will be because we're looking at almost like seven of them or probably this is just a born models but 
Yeah, but what I don't I wonder what D seven zero seven will be. I'm guessing like seventy seven hundred XT. That is a probability, you know, because it's a D seven zero seven, uh, coming after the D seven zero two and D seven zero four. So that probably is the case here. I wonder. Lastly, we have AMD GPU Open just released their Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.2 source code here. And we also have the comparison for this. And if you look into it, this is the FSR 2.2 off. And well, when we turn on FSR 2.2, well, I guess there are some differences. Let's focus on what are the differences. If you look into the farthest end, there's literally no wire. It's like it's like floating those, uh, whatever you call them. Those, those are floating. But when you uh, enable 2.2, well, we can clearly tell there's a uh, wiring going on. A little bit of wire. Yeah, it's visible. Also, the car texture is more uh, accurate, I believe. Also, the reflection, if when you uh, turn on the, uh, turn off the 2.2, FSR 2.2, uh, we can clearly tell there's a, a little bit of texture, uh, not texture issue, uh, reflection issue. But when you enable it, there are more reflections and uh, scars, you know, in, on the texture so yeah it's quite visible even the water texture looks nice i have to say also in another comparison here we have this is basically the nfs unbound they're using for the comparison well it looks well here there's not much i can tell of the difference but there is a little bit of difference yeah i mean it's more detailed for sure but a very little difference in, in close shots like this, you might not be able to tell difference. So, but but in distance, yes, there is a there is an improvement. So that's good.